Hello, everyone. My name is Joel Cox, and I've been with Veradigm for 20 years. Today, we're going to be speaking with Dr. Karen Boone of Midwest ENT and Ms. Michelle Russell in St. Peter's, Missouri. So, Dr. Boone, Ms. Michelle, welcome today. So, I want you to go ahead and just introduce yourself. Great. Thank you, Joel. We we appreciate the opportunity to s discuss Veradime and how it's working for us at Midwest ENT. Um, I am a board certified otolaryngologist. Um, my undergraduate degree is in biomedical engineering. So I actually really enjoy the uh, process of working with the EMR and how to, how to work through all of this. Um, I've been in private practice for almost 30 years. Uh, we built Midwest ENT approximately 25 years ago. We are a freestanding facility um, and we are five physicians, uh, single specialty practice. Um, and I have five children and four grandkids, which rock my world. Um, and uh, Michelle and I have been working together for many years. I think we make a really great team in how to figure things out for us. So um, I'm really pleased that we get to do this together. And Ms. Michelle? Um, I'm Michelle Russell. I'm the administrator here. I've been here for 14 years. Dr. Boone and I, like she said, we work together. Um, we put the puzzle pieces together to make this work for our office. And we have a great flow because of us being able to work together as a physician and as administrator um, working with Veridime. It's been, it's been great to watch everything come together. Good, good. Uh, just going to throw a couple of questions at you and you guys can just answer freely as we go through line of questions I have. Number one, tell us about your background with Veridyme. So we uh, started working with Veridyme when, uh, actually before Michelle started, um, I began looking at electronic medical records um, to be instituted into our practice. Um, we were a very typical uh, private practice with the charts all over the office and knowing that in order to really bring Midwest ENT into the next phase that we needed to bring in both a practice management and an electronic medical record um, forum. So we looked at several different products. Um, we looked at products that varied between um, a very, what I call plug and play, very simplistic, didn't really have a lot of work that it would take to put together, but also didn't have a lot of robust customization and things that we could do. And after looking and making an analysis, we ended up going with uh, the Veridime product at the time, all scripts, but now Veridime. Um, and uh, that's when Michelle came on board and uh, we began working. I, I really feel like it it just took off from the beginning. Um, I felt like I found a sweet spot of something that I was really interested in and being able to use the product and then customize it for what um, actually works with our office. Um, and then also bringing in all of the other products. Um, because of that, I actually did um, become part of the Physician Advisory Board, um, which was something that I found to be even uh, more helpful for our practice because it allowed me to um, talk to other practices in how they utilize the product, but also be able to use our level of expertise. And um, I like that dialogue between practices um, and learning how to do new things. I think that's one of the best things about this product um, is that it doesn't really ever just rest on its laurels, um, but is always growing and adapting as medicine is changing, we can take things and adapt it to our practice. Um, so that's been our, that's been our story. I think yeah. and we, we've been on the EHR since 2011. So it's been a few years and okay. PM we've been on since 2007 and other products we've integrated over the years. Okay. Um, besides PM and EHR, what other Veridyme solutions do you use? So we have payer path that we use for our clearing house. We also use the follow my health patient portal okay. part of it. Um, and we also tend to use various products and add-ons that they have. So we use call my doc and Freesia are also products that we use that are, um, partners with Veridyme. Okay, great. So. In today's world, and I work with the pre-sales team. So in today's world, when we go out, there's a lot of questions about uh, whether people want web-based technology or, or some older technology. A lot of the vendors are pretty much in the same space, but there's a couple of different vendors that are different. What were the key criteria and why 
did you choose this platform other over some of the other platforms that are out there? Well, I think that for me, it really was the fact that I wanted to be able to customize it for the way that we deliver medical care in our office. Um, as a private practice, single specialty group, we have a very clear uh, mission on how we want to deliver care for our patients. And one of those is efficiency, um, a concierge type feel to it. Um, and in order to be able to do that, we needed to be able to have a product that we could um, take, manipulate the electronic medical records so that it fits in our own system. Now, for that, we actually have, I think, a really top-notch, bar none, best in the country system, but it did take some work. And I, and I would say to you that that is one of the keys of using a product like this, is to be able to have um, some leadership who wants to take a hold of that and then be able to use it. You know, um, without Michelle and without me, I do think that it you have to be able to have somebody who's really interested in doing that. Now, that being said, it isn't Herculean either. I think that you just have to have a little bit of an interest and not afraid to try things. Um, I always say, you know, you really can't break the electronic medical record. Mm -hmm. You can try, and I, yeah. I and I have tried over the years, um, but you can usually take it and manipulate it for what you want. There are parts of the electronic medical record that I know we utilize in ways that it was probably actually not intended the way that you designed right. it, right. but we were able to take it and then um, make it work for our our how we work here in the office. And I think with five different physicians, we have different levels of interest. It's really important to recognize that because Dr. Boone was obviously a leader in this. I have other doctors who really are not as interested, but they also want to be working um, efficiently. And it and it's really easy to kind of get lost in some of the details that many of these um, software companies give you. You have to think about what you need. We had to sit back and say, what is this going to do for us? How is this going to make the doctor's life better? How is this going to make our medical assistants, our clinical team work more efficiently? Our whole goal is to get that patient in here and get them out the door as fast as we can. And the whole entire Veridime experience has allowed for those patients to come in, have, be checked in quickly, be pre-registered, then get out the door. Um, the doctors pick them up pretty quickly and working through each of the physician's needs, we were able to streamline that really well oh, great. and customize great. it for a surgical specialty office and not primary care. Yeah, I think that that's, that's a really mm -hmm. good point because I think that each subspecialty is going to have different needs. Um, and because we um, have a lot of different things that we do here, we actually have uh, procedures that take place within the office. We are, we have allergy testing and allergy shots and audiograms and audiologists and all these different things have to be able to integrate within the system. And I think that Veridum does that very well. Um, I also like the fact that the product is also evolving. Every time that there is an upgrade, Michelle and I will actually go through the upgrades and we sometimes they will solve a problem. As I say, I didn't even know I had that problem right. until the solution was there. And then we said, oh my, we can really institute this to make things a little bit better. You know, we are still to this day doing some signatures on paper. And mm -hmm. one of our goals this year is to remove that and have everything be electronically signed within the electronic medical records. And so that's something that we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, so we're constantly changing and evolving. I think that that makes the patient experience. Every time a patient comes in here, they say to me every time, you guys have this flow and this ability to take care of us in a way that I've just never seen it before. And I'd like to say that's all because of the physicians, but I will tell you it's partly the physicians, but it's also the magic that happens behind the scenes. Right. And that is staff being able to use the PM and the electronic medical records and these integrated products, like Michelle talked about, the Call My Doc the freesia, those follow my health, all of those things integrate so that we can improve in patient communication, um, documentation, 
all of those kinds communication of within our office communication within our office. I mean, that's, office. that's so important because we are a very big facility and it's really difficult sometimes to one, find a physician or find a clinical staff that we need to talk to and having that ability to send messages, review messages, the doctors being at home, mm -hmm. being in surgery, we're able to log in and, and, access all of those messages and see what's going on with the patient. The patient portal is a huge part of it as well, because those patients send messages and Dr. Boone will answer those messages from home um, as, as some of our other physicians will, but it makes it a much more convenient way to communicate with that patient and amongst even our staff. Um, you know, that communication is able to be set up, streamlined and, and pretty efficient on a daily basis. And it takes looking at every part of it and the downstream effect of every single person's click, what happens later. I think that that would be a really good recommendation is, is for um, people who are looking to implement something is, is that they do do a step back and do an analysis of how is their office flowing and how do those things, because a physician can say, well, I want it this way, but if they don't understand that that way may have five downstream effects that actually in the long run will make their patient experience to be less productive, less anything. Mm -hmm. I think that they may think about it a little bit differently. And right. that's something that we found, you know, if just because it makes my life just a little bit easier, it really that's not worth it if my billing people are spending twice as much time to get something done, then that's, that's really actually not efficient. It may be efficient with my time, but not with the people that I'm having as my employees mm -hmm. or that I'm paying for or the patient experience. Right. So, right. Makes sense. Makes sense. My next question, you were part of the physician advisory board or the, the physician insight board. I was also on that committee with you as well. Uh, Patrick Gilligan and, and Trevor Elliott and that team. So we go through upgrades periodically mm -hmm. and you've been on the product for a good while. What type of benefits in the upgrades that you've received over the years within the platform has helped you continue to be efficient in utilizing the product? I think that in particular, um, what do you think for the office would be the number one? Well, I'm going to say one of the top ones was the the mobile uh, app for okay. the physician. I would agree. Um, none of our staff really use them, but I would have to say the physicians do. And as the administrator, I use it. So it's that's been my biggest one. I think that, that that's, me. that's especially as a surgeon. So I spend a good portion of my day not here. Mm -hmm. um, my um, staff can send me a message through the mobile app and I can get it or I can answer questions when I'm sitting there waiting for my next case to start. I'll pick up my phone. I'll log on to the mobile app. It's not the exact same. It's not meant to be um, right. the exact same as is your main platform, but I can get a lot of work done, which I really like. Also, you know, in the morning I can get on in my car and remind me which hospital am I going to this morning? I'd like to tell you every day I remember, but I don't. And then that will direct me. So I do really yeah. like that. Um, I was going to say some of the automation. Okay. So in EHR, the automation to send over the charges into PM That's and right. a lot of the PM automation that has been set up over the years, um, definitely has been helpful for our billing office. That that's been a great piece of it. Um, I would say every time there's an upgrade, you know, when the colors changed a few years ago from the greens yeah. to the grays, yeah. everybody's like, I don't like this new color. But now if I got rid of that, they'd probably complain about that. So, yeah. you know, those little nuances definitely make a difference. Um, making some of the shortcuts a little bit easier to get from one screen to the other. The appointment screen we like to have, but also that patient tracking screen. Yeah. I've seen yes. more and more of my new staff the new who staff didn't likes have learned. I know it's on the old way they they tend to use that um so there are some little upgrades that have been happening over the years that you know it, we could talk all day about them if I could remember them all but even some of the little ones really typically will rock people's world pharmacy has definitely had some great improvements over the year mm -hmm. the prescriptions yeah. have increased um to be able to be a little bit more user-friendly on our end yes um, I, I think that's true I yeah. think also from a physician standpoint probably the moving from the short list type of idea mm -hmm. over to the practice tendencies, your personal tendencies, more yes. the AI, if you would, mm -hmm. type of issues, which I found to be really helpful because it's not only my tendencies, which is where I typically live, but if I see something that maybe I haven't seen in a little bit or that maybe is a diagnosis that is not my routine, pulling up the practice tendency to see what my other my other partners are using can be very, very helpful. It's actually a little bit faster and 
quicker than mm -hmm. using the short lists. And so I think that that and as and because it's AI, the more yeah. you use it, the better and more active it's getting and using the same medications over and over again. Um, I think that that can be a a really nice tool. So, mm -hmm. um, and I'm really looking forward to how AI continues to sort of get implemented within EHR. Um, I think that's really fascinating. Um, and um, that's going to be, I think, I think that's probably if anybody were to say anything, we're just going to be the next five years. It's going to be how, how does AI get integrated into our systems at an even better level? Um, and, and we're, we're excited to see some of the PM improvements mm -hmm. over the years. I know being part of this, you know, time period, the EHR was super important to have everybody implement mm -hmm. that and get on board because of the meaningful use, you know, um, government regulations. But the PM is, is starting to have some new movement that we're excited to see. And it's going to actually change a lot of our billing, some of the autom and scheduling because of the automation that's coming in with the um, schedulers and things like that, that we saw at the, uh, at the view meeting this past mm -hmm. month. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Predictive scheduling is definitely one of the favorites out there. Yes. Very good. And my, my last question here is how has Veridime helped improve your bottom line? If, if it has, um, with the efficiencies, with some of the things and upgrades, has it helped improve anything the bottom line wise? I'm, I'm, I think I'm more thinking on the financial side. Well, I think that, I think that the answer to that in a, in a one word is yes. Okay. But if you dial that down to understanding that, how is something help with your bottom line? There are lots of different ways that you can look at that. So one is efficiencies so that you can see the number of patients that you want to see so that you can bill correctly, that the billing can go out efficiently, that there's proper documentation so that you get paid the way that you need to be paid. Also being able to have patients pay their bills in a more efficient way so that they can do them through our different avenues. And so, you know, it's people don't, we don't send out bills through pieces of paper and a stamp very often. I mean, that's just not how this works. And so not in today's world. No. And so I think that those are efficiencies that help with the bottom line. But I think if you even take it down another step to staff, um, having staff leave because something is not working well for them is expensive for mm -hmm. private practice. You know, we always say that you, we actually put a lot of time and money and effort into every staff member. So having them being able to be able to do their job well, and I, that is something that I think is lost on people understanding that that is a bottom line. And so one of the things that I, we have a, a staff member that she's not new, but she's relatively new and she has really embraced how Veridime works and she has really found some things that I didn't even think about. And so this is a staff member that came in as a really almost entry level person. And she has really taken off with it. It's been actually mm -hmm. great watching her do that, mm -hmm. but also being able to, she's been able to take her own position and say, hey, if we did it this way, this would make my job easier. And we're open to that. Mm -hmm. And I think that helps her have job satisfaction and efficiencies and all of those issues. So and, and it helps our bottom line. It does. The and night. so therefore it helps our bottom line. So it's not just about the the typical answer would be yes, we can bill better and we get paid better and all mm -hmm. of those issues. But I think that taking it to a different level of understanding staff and understanding that they can take their job and make their job better and easier and more efficient, then they're happier, which makes my life better. Right. Excellent. Well. Dr. Karen Boone, Ms. Michelle Russell, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon, and I hope you have a good rest of your day. Thank you.